Hello YouTube, Chance Paladin here, and I'm starting this new series I've been wanting to start for a long, long time called Songs You Didn't Know Were About Auditing. So, just gonna hop right into it. This one is from Nine Inch Nails slash Johnny Cash, depending on how old you are and what you're into listening. And it is called Hurt. So, how, how I perceive this one is... You have to audit a manager, and the manager obviously has a very upset look. And you ask them, "Hello, you know, how are how are you doing today?" And they respond with, "I hurt myself today." And I go, "Why?" And they go to see if I still feel. And I go, "Okay, do you mean?" Like, are you doing this to the company? Do you mean literally, like metaphorically? Like, what are you, what are you talking about? You know, is this like a metaphor for something? And they go, I focus on the pain, the only thing that's real. So, <laughs> and then. Thing, you know, they say to see if I still feel and then I just was like oh, that doesn't make any sense I guess I mean you drink a lot of coffee or something and find out if you can still feel anything afterwards I guess but they go on to say that they focus on the pain With, and I go the, the pain like is this still about auditing are we going to talk about processes and and they of course respond yes because that's the only thing that's real I was like oh yeah okay yeah pro okay I, I get you now we're on the same page and then they start going into the process's details. They talking they talk about needles tearing holes, which is an obvious reference to Visio flowcharts. The old familiar sting, you know, talking in meetings all day about the processes. Uh, nobody being able to agree on anything, right? Trying to kill it all the way. Trying to get rid of the process so it can't get updated but he remembers the the manager remembers that they keep trying to bury the process but he knows it's important and so he's asking me what have I become my sweetest friend the the manager is asking that to me because I'm the one that has the outside set of eyes. The I'm not sucked into his politics all the time. And so he says, what have I become, my sweetest friend? And then he says, everyone I know goes away in the end. Meaning, of course, employee retention sucks right now. And it's sucked for a long time every time the economy takes a huge dump. And people keep either retiring or they get better jobs because they're not making enough money. They don't feel appreciated. And so this manager has lost a lot of employees and a lot of friends. And that that's what he's saying right here. And then he says something that, that took me by surprise, although I've heard it before. He says, you could have it all. My empire of dirt. Meaning, of course, that I could have the manager position if I wanted, since he wants to just retire, find a new job, because it's getting, the, the drama and the stress and the anxiety is getting to be way too much for him, due to HR, you know, not doing a damn thing, so on and so forth, and not having upper management support. So he's offering the job to me, he's saying, you can have it all my empire of dirt because that's all that's left of his department is just dirt so 
but then but then I say back to him I will let you down because I I'm a re I'm reluctant to be a manager I add more value as an auditor so I say I will let you down I will make you hurt that doesn't mean physically hurt him that means I would hurt his feelings by not doing a good enough job as he would have been able to do if everything would have went right and so he kind of looks at me and he wants he wants to further convince me but he also wants to tell more of his story and let him know let me know why he's feeling this way he says I wear this crown of shit but you know work appropriate I mean I knew he meant crown of shit but he made it work appropriate, so he said thorns, air quotes, upon my liar's chair. Of course, he's talking about the fact that managers get better chairs, bigger offices, maybe even hardwall offices. They might get more expensive cars. They get to park closer to the building. And so they, they sit on this, this throne that's just BS. It doesn't mean anything. It's, it's an empty status symbol. So, full of broken thoughts. He's, he's gotten to where he's having a hard time working on the processes, procedures anymore. Because it's just gotten to him like the ineptitude of, of his department. And he's saying that he can't, he can't repair. And what he means is he can't get the procedures updated anymore he can't keep them going he's been trying obviously but you can tell from above he isn't getting any support and his employees just keep leaving which is no fault of his own so beneath the stains of time the feelings disappear now this is important because as as it says above the more time goes by of people standing in your way not allowing you to update processes and procedures and they keep stonewalling you they they'll forget because they spend all day doing that and they don't they don't care it takes time and your blood and sweat and tears just become another stain or another another casualty or you could take it even more literally and, you know, all the, just all the waste and all the loss. So he's saying even though they've forgotten about him and they've forgotten about his processes and his department's been abandoned, he's saying that you are someone else. He's saying that to me. He's saying you are, are different. You're the outside uh, jurisdiction, the outside arbitrator but he he's still there he's still in his department and so and then he of course repeats himself what have I become my sweetest friend everyone I know goes away in the end so he when he says that I am still right here That means he hasn't left yet. He hasn't completely given up hope. And he understands that this kind of requires two of us. Somebody on the outside, somebody on the inside. But he also acknowledges that I haven't gone away. And then, and then he says, you could have it all. My empire of dirt. He's trying to give me the department one last time. And I said, no, I'll, I'll let you down and I will hurt your feelings. But then, I think he understands and agrees with that and sees what I'm trying to say. And he says, well, if I could start again a million miles away, I would keep myself. I would find a way. What he's saying is, is that if he could start up a new company or work in a new department with a fresh, clean start, maybe a different corporate culture, he would be able to maintain the initial drive 
um, and motivation that he had to keep his processes and procedures going. And he would find a way to do that and he would make it work. And things would be a lot better. But in the meantime, he's just going to sit there because there isn't much he can do with the way the economy's going. You can't just go get a new a new job anymore. I mean, all the unemployment numbers and everything are all completely faked. And they're forecasting the economy dumping in two years. But it's already started, so two years, I think, is optimistic. So, yeah. That's what this song's really about. It's actually about auditing and not being able to update your processes and management not having the power to do to do what they need to do. So, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Leave me a note down below if you want me to do more of these. I have a bunch of them lined up, but they're pretty <laughs> emotionally draining and upsetting. So. Um, if you want to hear the original songs, you can look them both up on YouTube. Uh, nice Nails or Johnny Cash. Hurt. They're both really, really amazing versions. I'm a huge fan of Johnny Cash and a huge fan of Nice Nails. So, anyway, go check them out. Let me know if you like this. A couple people tell me they like it, and I'll do another one. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Bye.